Hello viewers, I'm Vladimir. Welcome to Geonos Daily Series where we do something cool in geometry nodes in 5 minutes or less. And today we are going to do this awesome magnifying text effect using fields. So um, I want to show you how are we going to do this effect. We are um, going to take a text. Okay. Um, this will be our text. And uh, we are going to use uh, instant scale to make it bigger. And we are also going to build a fall off and we'll have everything being controlled by an empty. So uh, let's delete this uh, awesome graphics. I'm, I promise the result will be better than this. Uh, drawing skills of mine that are non-existent. So first of all, we have an empty scene. Let's add a material and uh, give it some color. So you can see it in the viewport. We will also want to add a solidify modifier and uh, increase this value some. And we will also have to uh, enable auto smooth. Okay. So now going back to our geometry nodes, we can delete the input. It's not going to be needed. So let's add a text string to curves. Let's add a um, input string. Also, we want a curve, fill curve. We also want a mesh set shade smooth. And we want a uh, material set material and this will be set to our materials set select everything press f to connect it okay and now let's put something here excellent now we have the text here and uh, we, we've done with the basics let's set it to smooth and it's 3d awesome okay now to the interesting part of this Let's um, add a geometry point scale in instances, not point. And this will control the scale of our effect. So let's, uh, let's do this. We will add uh, also an empty to the scene. Uh, okay, empty plane axis, and uh, let's bring this empty to geometry nodes. And uh, now we can do this cool thing. We are going to take the position of our uh, geometry, and we're going to compare it with the position of this empty. So let's get a vector math, and uh, let's plug this one together with this one. And we want to do a distance. Now we have the distance between this one and this one. And this will control the scale. So now if we move the empty, we get this. Yeah, it's not exactly what we want. So let's um, uh, play with a little bit with the settings and fix it. So let's add in utilities math, plug it here, set it to uh, divide. This will uh, control the range of our effect. Okay. And we want um, to add an utilities clamp node, plug it here. That will make sure that none of the letters get to zero. We can set a minimum value and none of them will be bigger than one. And now let's uh, add a float curve and that will be our fall off. So let's set this to auto handle, plug something in the middle, drag this one down and put this one all the way up. And now we have a fall off. So this will control the range of the fall off and this will control the shape of the fall off. And that's it. This is uh, today's tip. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to come back to the comment sections because uh, I'm gonna post uh, in one or two days uh, the cleanup note tree along with uh, everything else you saw in the demo. 
so you can uh, recreate this effect. Until then, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorial.